dress, taking trips, come back six, wake me and your child, and then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with, makes me wonder who you think you're playing with, I'm just a myself to keep playing this, play the back over and over again, sweat. up real quick so y'all can hear me sorry it was a little um stuffy and i do have my windshield wipers on they're on auto so i'm pretty sure you guys can hear it welcome to a vlog guys welcome if you're new here you're just joining in tuning in welcome my name is Brittany. if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit that red subscribe button join the brit babes be in there like swimwear and for those who've been down with me since day one welcome back to my vlog baby oh it's raining again girl i had to put my hat on because i was like my hair is already gonna poof up and my curls are gonna fall so i'm just gonna put a hat on my hair is still curly underneath um, my curly bob but I had to put a hat on. I'm on my way to the doctor's office real quick. I told you guys in my last vlog that I was going to my OB real quick. I hope it's real quick because I hate going to the doctor's office and they spend so much time like what are we doing? Why am I waiting? Like what's going on? I'd rather be at the dentist because I at least I know when I'm at the dentist's office they're actually working versus like the doctors where I'm just sitting there just sitting there just sitting there hopefully it goes by quick my appointments at 9 30 uh, I'll get there at 9 20 they asked me to be 15 minutes early but I'm gonna be 10 and um yeah that's what I have to do and then I have to go back home I have to apply a little bit of makeup on my face because I have to shoot this promo Macy is shooting the promo with me so she's home actually um today was teacher conference day and i didn't take her to school because i was like they're getting out of school at 12. i just i it just made no sense for me to get up bring her to school for eight and then come right back around and bring her and pick her up by the time i get out of uh, my doctor's office it just that didn't make sense to me but anyways, yeah, y'all, that's the plan for today. It is flash flood warnings. It is gloomy. It is rainy. It just sucks. I stayed up all night editing, y'all. Editing does not, it's crazy because it's, editing does not take long. It's the fact that I have to make sure it uploads correctly and make sure I don't have a copyright. All that takes longer than the actual editing, in my opinion. Like, once it uploads from CapCut, um, that part takes long. I, I just be, like, falling asleep. So, yeah, I stayed up last night editing. Oh, I made it to the doctor's office fast. I like that. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It is really raining out here. Like, raining bad. Ugh, I need to get myself an umbrella. That is, like, my goal. Because I, I swear to you, I really don't have an umbrella. And I don't know why. But I need one. I might as well back in to this one. Okay, guys, I'm here. I will talk to you guys after. Woo, okay, y'all, I'm done. Y'all, that was such a great experience. I'm not going to lie. Like, my first OB... Oh, Walmart's right there. Oh, period. I think I need to go to Walmart real quick. Yeah. But uh, my first OB appointment that I had at another place... I really didn't like but these are all black women they're funny they're all like I don't know they're just all super 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 nice and I love the vibes in there <sighs> sorry my nose is running my I love the vibes in there but tell me why I, I swear I can never have like a non-embarrassing moment right 
the midwife was checking me out the doctor right and she was checking my you know she checks your boobs and she checks your um stomach first of all they gave me a nice pink robe i was like okay y'all are doing it but um i felt very womanly very womanly they took my blood and stuff they did all lab work whatever because i'm this is kind of like my annual even though i've already had my annual but this is a new place so she was checking my boobs and checking my stomach you know they'll be checking all that stuff why she was like girl you are sweating are you nervous ah! <laughs> embarrassing yes i'm nervous because like that's the thing about me I hate when I'm nervous and I sweat profusely like I'm always sweating when I'm nervous and it's really embarrassing because it's okay to sweat on my face because you know it's just my face but girl I be sweating up my whole shirt my back dripping and I'm like I don't know why I'm nervous because like you know I don't know why I'm nervous so by the time she checked me I was freaking sweating up a storm y'all like I just felt embarrassed. I wasn't even gonna lie, cause at first I thought about lying. <laughs> at first I was gonna be like, no, I'm not nervous. But now I was like, girl, you got all this sweat dripping down. Yeah, you're nervous. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that was embarrassing to me. Because I was like, she was like gliding over my stomach. And, not to, and to make matters worse, this morning when I got out the shower, I used my body cream my tph body cream but i was like let me add some coconut oil some raw coconut oil so that i could be extra moisturized so that the doctor won't say i'm ashy wrong combo because that made me real greasy like a fried chicken and she was just like girl you sweating <laughs> how embarrassing how embarrassing but anyways y'all we got everything done Look, we got everything done. Okay, so I am going to go to Kroger real quick because I am out of coffee. My kids drank all my coffee. And I'm out of cheese because we made those egg rolls last night, which was really good. But I used all my cheese for my egg rolls. So I'm hungry. I want to go home and make myself a nice sandwich and get my coffee. But I need the essentials before I even can do that. So, yeah, we're going to go to Kroger. Is this Kroger? Okay, y'all. So let me go ahead in here real quick and I'm going to talk to y'all after I get home. I'm back home. I just shot the promo pictures um, for Macy and I real quick. She was complaining, but nonetheless, she was a good sport. So I'm about to edit those real quick, then send them to... Oh, damn. I thought my phone was going to make it. I'm about to edit those and then send them to... The company i got blue dye on my fingers from touching those eggs but i'm gonna take my clothes off um and then take this makeup off the little bit of makeup that i do have on and y'all i have a pimple one two go talk to me i have some pimples right here <sighs> girl but i kind of like my hair like this with my hair i think it's cute i'm supposed to go to brunch like i said and I was thinking of like dressing up really, really girly. Hold on. Hello? Sorry, one of my friends had called me. Um, but yeah, we took the pictures for our promo. I forgot I was telling y'all earlier, but now I'm about to take my clothes off. Well, I'm gonna wait till she comes. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna wait to I'm gonna wait for her to stop by. Cause I think she's buying some Girl Scout cookies from me. <laughs> My husband is so funny. He's like, you pushing cookies like a <laughs> But I'm going to wait for her to come by because she says she wants to get the cookies. I don't know. But I was going to take my makeup off, take everything off, and, like, really relax. But she's coming by, so I'm going to wait. We have been talking about... We've been talking about just, like, going out and, like, having fun and not staying in the house. Y'all know I'm a homebody, a Target body, and a grocery store body. Like, I'm going to be in those places regardless. But I really need to start, like, stepping out. Like, stepping out, out, and not just being in my house all the time. Even though in my house is comfortable. Especially because they be acting a plum fool out in public. But i want to make sure i'm also i want to make sure that i told myself this year that i'm definitely going to travel i gotta make sure i'm traveling 
and also I want to go out more so like not get used to just being home Brittany like make sure you're out because I feel like that's self-care too I saw this video on TikTok where she was like the only way you're going to overcome being um comfortable with yourself or something like that she's like or depression or something I don't know I forgot what she was saying but she said you have to leave your house and intentionally leave your house not go to the grocery store not go check your mail or nothing like that but literally put something on get your hair together whatever outfit and leave your house and so i'm just like okay girl i hear it. the message is loud and clear because y'all know me i've gotten comfortable just throwing some sweatpants on and looking like whatever and going to the grocery store or going to target those are no longer like my places to go just to like have an outing that doesn't count as an outing to me going to target is like going to the carpool lane i look the same both ways <laughs> like i need to go out. i need to go out y'all i need to go out i need to go out so we were just talking about that on the phone we were like girl we got three kids um shout out to the moms that be having three kids like what i mean i'm i'm noticing more and more mothers who have like three kids i'm like okay i don't feel so alone <laughs> about my past choices in life <laughs> but um she was like we both got kids we need to like go out we could not be like stuck at home it'd be so depressing and boring i'm like yeah girl i feel you i feel you so anyways like i said she was going to come by to get the cookies so i'm not obviously gonna get undressed yet but in the meantime i'm gonna edit some photos the photos that i took of uh, macy and i for our promo i'm gonna edit those send those to the brand have them approve it so i can post it and then um yeah that's it for the rest of the day though that's it for the rest of the day my kids should be coming home because it's early dismissal today and tomorrow it was parent teacher conference so um when they start doing that y'all I never, well, I, not never, but, like, I feel like, <sighs> I feel like school is so much, and we were just talking about that, too, my friend and I. School, I don't know if anyone gets overstimulated. I'm about to post that, actually, but gets overstimulated or realizes, like, how much it is when you have kids in school, let alone if you have multiple kids in school. You know how many emails and text messages I get because I have the app, right? I have Class Dojo and I have the other app that they told us to get because that's their way of communicating, which is fine. I love innovation. I love innovation. Let's go ahead and, you know, step it up because nowadays everything is on the app. But the fact that they send out these notifications every five minutes and then they have the audacity to send the email of the notification now you overstimulate me <laughs> you're overstimulating me now because i check my emails thoroughly because i get brand deals and that's money in my email so of course i'm going to check my emails a lot you know but the fact that i'm always seeing like parent 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 da -da 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 in my email and i'm getting notifications that's overstimulating to me i'm like i get it girl i get it and then me and then I also I'm the, I'm the type of parent that has like this weird type of thing so I have to like heart each message to make sure they know that I got it <laughs> even though who knows if they can tell who hearted it or not but like I feel weird if I don't heart it I don't know y'all it's just a lot for me that's the stuff that I be struggling with but we were talking about that too we were like girl they be hitting us up like more than our friends <laughs> And we were like saying, I'm the type of parent, we were, t and we were both saying like we're the type of parents that love when school is out because it is literally a break. It's only like a two month break, but it's so quiet. <laughs> it's so quiet. It's so quiet. So I know other moms be dreading when school is out because obviously, I don't know, maybe they don't want to have time with their kid or maybe like they work so you know it's more on them but i be loving when we're out on vacation and when school is officially over yeah guys that was just my little rant um <laughs> i'm gonna come back on camera later hey guys it's later on so i took off my makeup in the bed girl 
<laughs> Listen, tired, okay? Tired. I haven't really done anything since we shot the promo earlier macy and i i haven't really been doing anything but binge watching tv i don't know i'm like really crampy um i don't know if this is like tmi or not but like ever since i left my appointment i have been like cramping really bad like i just feel so sore in my lower belly and i'm like girl did you take some with you <laughs> when you checked me like i mean well obviously they did like they scraped your cervix for testing but dang it hurt and so like my back hurt my cramps hurt like did you what did you do what did you, what did you do so i've been in bed because i've been feeling achy and so i was just like you know what now my whole body hurt <laughs> laughing at tiktok girl if y'all ain't up on arisa tisa teresa girl i've just been her story is not funny. The parts that come out after that is hilarious to me. Like the people and watching their videos, like TikTok is pure entertainment. I have to like stop watching TikTok. Like I need to um put myself on a fast and like not be on TikTok, but it is so entertaining, especially when it's free. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I got comments from my last vlog or like the vlog that just went out today. And I just wanted to address this real quick because I know I'm getting like a lot of subscribers each month. Like I'm seeing my followers. So thank you guys so much for subscribing because y'all are doing a dang on thing. When I tell y'all to subscribe, y'all really do. So I do appreciate that. Okay, sorry, my camera died. But I get a lot of questions about our family dynamic. So I'm just going to explain it real quickly. We are a family of five with three daughters, okay? Two of them I gave birth to, one I didn't. So one is my stepdaughter. Y'all know Macy. She's a toddler. She's five years old. That is my daughter and my husband's biological daughter, okay? Macy is my daughter and my husband's biological daughter. Mahari, Mahari is our oldest. She is the oldest. She is 14. That is my biological daughter and my husband's biological daughter. So we have, I have the M&Ms, okay? Macy and Mahari are the M&Ms and that is my husband's kids and my kids as well. Chima is my husband's daughter. She's 13. That is my stepdaughter. I've been in her life ever since she was two years old. She calls me mom. She also calls her mom, mom. Her mom is alive and well and is in her life very much. She just has been living with us because that's just how it is for right now. And that's all I'm gonna say about that part. But yeah, she's she's been with us ever since she was two and she's called me mom ever since she was two she's 13 now the reason why you don't see them often which is weird because they've been in my vlogs plenty of times i don't know if y'all are watching all of my vlogs or like i said you're new here or whatever but they are often in my vlogs as for my older girls they're teenagers so they don't really care to be on camera it's not like they have tiktok all that like as far as like being in youtube videos like they're not like gonna be on here in every video like you guys may see them a couple times when we go out and stuff yeah not like that even like with my husband you guys haven't seen my husband like all the time either but yeah i just wanted to explain that because i do get a lot of questions and i'm pretty sure someone's gonna bring it up again because i brought it up in my last vlog but as i get new subscribers i get it but yeah i get it so i'm just trying to explain it and i don't want to talk your ear off because i'm about to just lay down and go to bed and i will see y'all Tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's the next day. It is Thursday. Um, I am on my way to take my older girls to the music shop because they have a field trip coming up. It's a music field trip. You guys know that my older girls are in orchestra and they need something for their instruments. They play cello and violin. So we're on our way to the music store to grab the part that they need. Um, come on, Missy. So we're going there. I'm doing laundry, as y'all can tell. Let's go this way. Say hi. Hi. This is Chima. This is Mahari. They exist. Come closer, <laughs> you guys. They're almost my height. Yeah. They're not always on camera because they don't want to be, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but you guys, they exist. They exist. They're here. 
<laughs> They're here. This is Macy too. The third one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say she's sweet. Macy, Look how no, she's Friday. acting. Macy, you're laughing. Come on. We're at Kung Fu Tea. We got boba. Macy is crying because she's not doing good. She wants to play an instrument, but no one has an instrument. Y'all know toddlers. Y'all think Macy is a perfect child? Mm -mm. She's very much a toddler. Here, wipe your face. Do you want anything while we're out? The bubble tea was cheaper than the shoulder rest. Okay, my friend Larry came here to me to get yesterday to get a shoulder rest, and she said it was 18 pounds. Yeah, that's not a stupid tip. Wait, no. I want to be an artist when I go home. You want to be an artist when you grow up? How nice. $18 for this. $15. What? What music? I mean, what instrument do you want to play? Um. Did you see all the instruments? Yeah, yeah. Like I saw it as, as um a kid's instrument. A kid's instrument? <laughs> yeah. Was it this? Was the it small the, one? Yeah. Was it a xylophone? A xylophone. Oh. Okay. So feel like Explain what you guys got. Oh. I got a, a passion fruit slush. Passion fruit slush with what? With bubble tea. And then a tropical slush with crystal bubble. And tropical slush with crystal bubble. Yeah. Bubble panda. It's actually the perfect weather. I am so. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but. And I'm just over it. Yesterday it was like 70 three degrees or something like that today it's 55. yesterday i woke up and i wasn't feeling like myself like my head just felt like i had a headache but not like a regular headache like it was just like pressure in my head like it just felt like pressure right and so i didn't take any medicine because i'm like well it, it's not like an actual banging like headache like tired like i just felt so groggy and like just loopy i felt loopy and groggy and then my throat was so irritated. It was so irritated. I barely slept last night because I had to keep getting up and like coughing and just like, it's not sore. My throat's not sore at all. It's just very like irritated. And I had a lot of post nasal drip last night. That's what I had. I had a, that, that kept waking me up. Like I kept having to like, um, sp like, you know, spit. <laughs> Sorry, but cause I'm like the post nasal drip was in my throat. It was so irritated. I barely slept so this morning I'm waking up and I'm just like ugh, like I'm so cold the weather got me so cold I'm like not wanting to go anywhere because it's raining out again oh my gosh Atlanta like stop raining <laughs> gosh and um my nose is running um and my body hurts like my bones hurt <laughs> my bones hurt my bones hurt because it was 75 degrees yesterday now it's 55 degrees which is crazy so now my body hurts i really planned on going out today and like going to brunch or something but I, it's like i'm not sick i don't feel sick i just have irritations like my nose is irritated because it's running and the skin is getting like raw because i have to keep um wiping it my throat is irritated. My bones hurt because it's cold outside. Hey right, y'all, it's later on. Um, I have taken a shower. I'm still looking and feeling like crap, but I did take a shower. I did take some medicine. I am laying on my heating pack and I am just binge watching YouTube. One of you guys had mentioned a couple of YouTubers to watch <clears throat> and I did look at some of their content, but I actually found another YouTuber from somebody's page that you guys mentioned. Um, Summer Blair, I'm pretty sure you guys know about her, but let me go to her channel. Let me see. <clears throat> this is this is summer blair i love her channel you guys probably already know about her but she's new to me and i love that because i love 
stumbling across youtubers that are old to maybe y'all but new to me and i'm just i just get so excited because it's like finding a new show that i can binge watch and she's so consistent i love that because i'm not gonna lie i don't mind watching new youtubers but it kind of sucks when they have videos like once a month i'm like girl i need a whole series where you at <laughs> baby girl where is the consistency and then this is another girl britain designs britain is her name Britain Designs? She is an actual interior designer, professional interior. Des well, she's a professional interior stylist based out of Dallas. I think I was watching Summer's vlog and she was showing the nightstands and dresser that she has from Ashley Furniture. And I went right to that website and saved them because I'm like, this is exactly what I was looking for. Because y'all see, as y'all can see, I got that small freaking console and mind you look at how big the space is okay you guys so i really like my console table um like i said pr package tripods whatever but there's nothing else in this corner right i'm watching the parkers <laughs> but they i like my console table right i do like it but it's too short it's too small i just feel like it's just awkward so i'm gonna take it in our new home but i want a dresser and when i watched summer blair's video i was like oh my gosh she has like that dresser and i seen that i want and her dresser is like high which i wanted i wanted like a six drawer high dresser with the matching nightstands and stuff like that because i feel like my nightstands now are small like they're just really really small but yeah y'all it is windy it's like some type of like uh weather weather warning flash flood warning it's about to rain I don't know. I'm about to binge watch my YouTube in my bed with my heating pad on and watch the Parkers in the background because we already know YouTube is just where it's at. Anyways, I'm about to chop y'all ear off. Um, next time I get on this vlog, I want to remember my nail came off. I want to remember to show you guys this um PR package. I have to remember, Brittany. Remember the PR package. And hopefully I won't be looking dusty and crusty and disgusted. And my hair will be looking a little bit put together. So that we could do this try-on for this PR. So, see y'all later. Hey guys, it is Sunday. I know the last time I was on here, I told you guys that I would be doing a try-on haul. But I am going to do the try-on haul. It's going to be at the end of this video. It's going to be at the end of this vlog. So I will do the try on haul. But right now I am currently about to go get a pedicure. Today is Sunday. It is beautiful. It's sunny. I'm feeling a lot better. Like 10 times more better than I was before. So I told myself Sundays is going to be my day of taking care of myself and self-care. I know I said this before, but I didn't really stick to it. But I also have Sundays off of work. So I was like, you know what? I want to take that time to like really enjoy myself and like do something for me. I want to also use Sundays as spending time with my family, but also like do something for me. So this Sunday, I am going to get a pedicure and I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. And then um, next Sunday, I'll probably like, we'll do like bowling or something like that. I just really want to, you know, take the time out on Sundays and like spend time with family. So yeah, I think Sundays is going to be like my spiritual and Bible work. And then it's going to be family and self-care day as well. I know a lot of people do like Sunday resets and they clean, they do laundry, they cook and all that. But to me, that's not like something I want to do on a Sunday. I rather do that like on Thursday or Friday, like get all that done on a Thursday or Friday or even like a Saturday. I, I don't mind doing that. Like I usually clean on Thursdays. I usually clean and cleanse my home on Thursdays. And then like I do laundry on Fridays. Like I like to get all that stuff done early. And then Sunday have the day to like really spend time, you know, doing my Bible and stuff and then spend time with my family or do something like for myself. It's so bright out here to where y'all can't really see me. So I'm trying to like get a good angle so where y'all can see me. It's Sunday. It's 227 right now. Um, my clock says 126. Hold on. Let me change my clock at my car. It is daylight saving time. The chi Ugh, I can't talk. It is daylight saving time. So the time has changed. And it is daylight saving time, y'all. And 
I did not change the clock in my car. So let me go ahead and change that if I know how to do that or if I remember how to do that. How do I do that? Car general settings. Okay, here we go. I did change all the clocks in my house and stuff, so I got that done, but I forgot to do it in my car, so whatever. The plan is get a pedicure, go do some shopping, because I have a list of, like, self-care items that I need. Come home, do the try-on haul for you guys, and then end the vlog, because that'll be the end of it. I won't have much to vlog after that, so. I'm excited. I'm super excited for daily saving time. I'm so happy that it's going to be sunny later, even though it's the time is like flying by like it's already about to be 2 30 like girl i should have been out but that's okay because the sun don't set till late so i won't feel bad about getting laid out the house anymore yeah let's go in here get our toes done i just want to relax put that massage chair on and relax i forgot my headphones i forgot my airpods y'all so hopefully i don't want to be rude but hopefully they don't talk my ear off because i just want to relax i don't want to talk i just want to relax i'm a mom of three who needs some self-care time please don't take that up by talking to me i am tired i didn't have no coffee this morning either Ooh, i'm tired all right let's go they said it was gonna be 45 degrees outside like 50 degrees and so i got this jacket on but it's not even that cold outside hold on let me cross the street y'all it's not even that cold outside. All right, let's go in here and get our toes. It says 15% off, so we're going to see y'all. Hi, how are you? Hi, I just want um, gel pedicure. Gel pedicure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you do nail too? No, just the, just the toes. Oh, they got cotton candy gel. Y'all can't even see me. They got cotton candy gel. Let me show y'all. <clears throat> this is what I was looking for. I want like a pinky, nudie color on my toes. Let me show you guys the picture that I'm looking at. Like something like this. I want that gel pink color like that. Or like that. But I really want this. Like that real pinky color. So I don't know which one to get. Maybe this. One of these. Really cute. That's what I want though. I just took my hat off so my hair looks funny but I'm back home and um make myself some lunch dinner because I did not eat yet besides breakfast but I haven't ate anything yet and I got my toes done y'all I was knocked out I was knocked out she was like honey you sleepy I said girl yes I'm tired. I'm taking a nap. I was knocked out. She could have gave me whatever and I wouldn't know like what she did to my toes because I was knocked out. But I went to Walmart real quick. Show y'all what I got. I got my TPH. Y'all know. This was the last one there. Um, so I was like, girl. Oh, I'm not. Mm -mm. Y'all, and it's open. I'm returning it. Anyways. I got my pencil. I got the charcoal one. I don't normally get charcoal on my eyebrows. Like I, I normally don't do the charcoal one, but um, I should have went to Target. I honestly should have went to Target. I might return this. If it's too dark, I might return this. Even though my eyebrows are black, but I still like to do the brown one, like the dark brunette one. So cotton balls. Y'all, I found this cute umbrella. For Macy, it was only five dollars. Like, look how cute it is. Hold on, let me show y'all. It's literally five dollars. Look how cute it is. It is so cute. So I got her that because she's like, Mom, I got my rain jacket, but I need my rain boots and umbrella. I'm like, girl, I got you. So I got that. I don't know why I got this. I saw it and I was like, oh, for five dollars, I'm gonna get it. 
Look how cute this is. It was only five dollars in their like um, dollar section. So cute. I want to put some um, hydra hydronuts hydra hydronuts. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I want to put some in here for springtime. So that's all I got. Literally, I'm probably. I'm taking this back because it's open. The last one I got was sealed. I don't know what they put in this. Walmart be tripping. And it's like leaking. Girl, I'm not about to open it again. Mm -mm. Where's the, I'm about to say, where's my receipt? No. And I'm probably going to return this too because I don't like charcoal. So I should have just went to Target, but I was like, I don't feel like going to Target, but I'm probably going to go to Target tomorrow or something or something because I don't want these two. So that's getting returned. And yeah, let's go do the haul. Okay guys, I'm in my office closet and I'm about to do a quick try on haul real quick or do a haul because I did purchase some clothes or items over the weekend or whatever. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys what I got for Macy. Um, I went to athlete's foot i forgot all about athlete's foot i haven't shopped there in years um i just forgot about them but they had a sale on crocs so i got macy her first pair of crocs yes this is her first pair of crocs y'all i don't know why i haven't bought them before but her first pair and look how cute they are first of all they're cream i don't know if it's showing on camera i know they look white but they're like a cream white I don't know if y'all can tell because like my pax closet is like a white white but these are more like a cream color so i got these for her so cute um my husband and i have been looking at different charms on etsy to get her because i will say the charms online like on amazon or in the store they're not all that like i don't know i was like what now I gotta go search and find some really nice uh, charms. And then I got her a second pair. So cute. This color is Dreamscape. I'm not sure, but y'all can tell me, are these lavender or they're blue? Um, I have no idea. Like, even on camera, they're coming off as a lavender. But I promise y'all, in person, they look almost blue. Like a blue lavender. They're very much blue lavender. But I told Macy they were lavender. <laughs> They're like a pale purple. So I was like, yeah, this is lavender. And she was like, my favorite color, because I know her favorite color is purple. So, so cute. So she got these and the white ones. And my husband and I are looking for charms for both. So cute. I'm actually going to give my older daughter some Crocs, because at first, mom, at first, my older girls were like, everybody in our school wears Crocs. We're not wearing Crocs. <laughs> But I'm like, now they're like, ooh, these are cute. I'm like, yeah, y'all want some Crocs now, huh? Yeah, okay. I ended up getting myself a pair of A6 sneakers. So cute. Like, I was like, girl, get yourself get yourself some sneakers. Because all I wear is my Vegas or my Chanel sneakers. I don't have no other sneakers. I'm like, get yourself some sneakers. Like, why don't you wear more sneakers? Like, I honestly don't. I have a lot of like sandals and stuff but i don't have sneakers so i went to the store and got me some and i saw these and i fell in love with them they're so cute so i ended up getting um these color ones right here they're just like very i don't know how to explain this but so what's the colorway of these these are cream pure silver and I got a size six and a half, um, which fits me. I normally can wear a six, but I got a half size bigger just in case they were too small. I mean, too, yeah, too small. But yeah, this is how they look. So cute. They're so comfortable. I love A6 sneakers. Like they have been on my For You page and they have been on my Pinterest for so long because I've been looking at outfit ideas with them. It says A6 right here. So cute. These were actually like on sale or were they not i'm not sure if they were on sale but they were only 95 dollars and i was like cool because the ones that i saw before were like 150 120 or whatever these were only 95 under 100 dollars so i was like that's a steal to me 
super cute so i got these for me got the crocs for macy and then this was kindly sent over to me from kalia it is the inspiration inspire collection of kalia um they are collaborating with Dick Sporting Goods and they have a new collection of fitness wear coming out. So it says there's beauty in the burn and look at the packaging. So cute. Like I do not want to throw this away. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it because the packaging is a 10 out of 10. The packaging is a 10 out of 10. It says we're excited to introduce the Inspire Collection by Kalia. Your new favorite set for workouts and everything in between. I'm so excited. So this is their information. I will tag their Instagram on the screen as well in the description box below. But they kindly sent this over to me. And look at the paper. Like this is some thick paper. Like y'all know the tissue paper that be ripping really easily? Not this. Not this funny. And even look at the back. I don't know if y'all can tell but it says Kalia on it. Like what? This is the PR package. Thank you baby. So... I did not know what they sent me. They just asked for my size and I told them. So I have these. These are in a size small. They're the Inspire High Rise Legging Collection. I'm about to try them on. What I love about them, they have pockets on the sides. Yes, leggings with pockets because I love my Target leggings, but I don't have no pockets in them. So they have two pockets on each side. It has their logo on the back. So I got the pants and then they were kind enough to send me over the tank top too. Ooh, it's padded. Thank you so much. Cause you know you girl could need a little lift. So um I don't know what size this shirt is. What size? Small. Both in a size small. So we're about to try them on and see how it looks. Okay guys, this is what it's giving and looking like. This feels so comfortable. Let me move my bench out the way. Small, small shirt. Really nice. It feels super good. I love the way it feels. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. It feels like I have nothing on, to be quite honest with you. It feels like I have nothing on, and I'm so happy that I got a small. I was going to get an extra small, but I was like, uh, I don't know. This feels really good. It feels really good. It feels really snatched and the material is super, super, super soft. Making the girls up there, okay? No bra. I don't know if it's push up or not, but so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. This is gonna be my um, Aaron's outfit, like going out, Aaron's yoga, all of that. So I will link them down below. The leggings stop perfectly right at my ankles. So it's not like, you know, loose. Cause sometimes my leggings get like, I don't know, loose and they get high water looking out like that. But these top perfectly at my ankles. So, ooh, they be, they may, they may be onto something. Okay. They may be onto something. Love it. And I ate, can't even tell, sucked me right in. I was bloated before. The logo on the back super cute love it okay okay y'all that's it for the try on haul i have another package coming from amazon that i ordered some stuff that i need to try on with you guys as well the next vlog that's coming up i need to go to target but i'm also going to go to sephora and then it's going to be another try on haul because i have some other stuff coming that i ordered that we're going to try on but i love that set from there it's really really nice Y'all gotta get my hair done. I'm getting my hair braided because we are going on vacation. So I'm getting my hair braided. I'm just trying to figure out like what to do with my hair in that time. I'm just gonna have to like do this look or do a little bun up until I get my braids done because it just makes no sense of doing another style when I'm gonna have it in for a couple weeks. It makes no sense. But I'm gonna put this stuff up. Macy loves her umbrella. She loves her umbrella. She was like, this is the first umbrella I've ever had. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I've never brought her an umbrella before. I don't know why. But I'm about to put her stuff up. And um, yeah, in this vlog. Let me show you my toes. Because I don't think I showed you my toes. Hold on. This is what I got done to my toes. It's just pink gel. It's just like a pink gel um, color. I always get this. Hump. Well, not always. This is the pink gel that I get. I normally get like a pinky gel color. 
on my toes versus like white sometimes i'll get white for the spring summertime but this is just the pink gel that i got i, I don't know what color this is i don't even know but this is what i got so yeah you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today um yeah y'all look at all the clothes i have i have so much clothes i'm i'm, in, I'm back to my like shopping for me bag like i'm back to like shopping for me like getting stuff for me shopping spring summer i'm back to that so i got clothes all over the place with tags on them that i have not worn yet but it's all right thank you guys so much for tuning into my vlog if you haven't already please subscribe give this video a thumbs up comment below that really helps my interaction that really helps me stay on the home page that really helps my youtube engagement so if you guys would do so for your girl please comment please like the video thumbs up i love you guys and i will see you in my next vlog bye